Hello friends, welcome to tutorials point. In this tutorial we will see how we can pass the input parameters in SAP HANA. So in SAP HANA the input parameters they are used to filter down the data by passing the input values from the user and to perform the additional calculations at the runtime. So the data is fetched based upon the value input by the user when a view is executed. So let's say how we can use this input parameter in the reporting. So we can consider the scenario where an input parameter is applied on the sold quantity. That is when the sold quantity is greater than 20 then 10% discount on the total price otherwise it will remain same. So for these type of scenarios we can create the input parameters wherein the users they can enter the values at the runtime. So the input parameters they are created in HANA modeling views using the SAP HANA studio. So let's see how we can create the input parameters in SAP HANA studio. So this is my SAP HANA studio. So when these views they are used in any BO reporting tool and the report is refreshed, users are prompted to pass the input value for the particular field. So how we can create the new parameter. So for that first of all let's open up this view. Here now we have to click on the semantics first. If we go to the semantics here we have the parameter and the variable. If we click on the parameters and variables and if we go to the drop down of this plus sign we have create input parameters. So if we go to the create input parameters so first of all here we have to enter the name, description and the other details of this input parameter. So let's say if we pass the value as input parameter underscore order underscore filter. Automatically it will change the label if we click on somewhere else. Then we have the parameter type. So we have three different parameter types that is first is the direct. This is using this parameter type user can pass any value for the parameter. After that we have column. So this parameter type it allows the users to select any value from the list of distinct values available in the column in SAP HANA view. Then we have derived from table. It is also possible to create the dynamic value in a table and allow the user to select any of the available value from the list. Then we have the static list. So it is also possible to create a static list of values and give them for user input during the execution. So we can select the checkbox to make this as a mandatory option. So if we check this this parameter will be a mandatory one where the user has to pass the value without that the user will not be able to execute the report. So if we uncheck it it means that it is an optional parameter for which the users can give the value or they cannot give the value. After that if we want to give any default value we can type in the constant or we can use the expression. Then we have the default values. In the default values we if we go here we can give the default value. Then we have the direct. So in the semantic type we have three options. So we have the currency, we have unit of measure and then we have date. So we can select the data type of the user passed input value so that the system only accepts the allowed value type for this field. So this option varies as per the parameter type. After that once we go here and click on this data type we can see that we have all these data types which are available to us. So if we change the semantic type here so the data type will also get changed accordingly. Let's say if I choose currency so I can see that we have these data types. Similarly we have the option of selecting the length and we have the option of selecting the scale. So once we define all these parameters we can click on OK to create this input parameter and then whenever the user will use this view in the reporting and refresh it they will be prompted for this input parameter and they can either give the value or they cannot give the value as we have provided this as an optional parameter. 
if we change it to mandatory then they have to provide the value if they want to run the report otherwise they will not be able to execute it so this is how we can create the input parameters in sap hana views thank you